Um, one more game note that we saw, NFC division game between uh, the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I think most likely going to be the MVP this season, Aaron Rodgers, and uh, a banged-up uh, Rams team. Aaron Donald uh, you know, and Jalen Ramsey, they tried as hard as they could. Right. But I think that, that the, the, the one, two, three punch of Jones, uh, you know, Devonta Adams and Aaron Rodgers was just a little bit too much for them. We kind of both, you know, felt like it was going into the game. We, we both picked the Packers to, uh, to win this one. Um, I love what I saw from Aaron Rodgers. And I think, and I, the, I, the reason I love it so much is because I, I feel like it's a slap back in the face to the Green Bay Packers organization for drafting a quarterback in the first round when you when you were a game away from going to the Super Bowl last year, and now you're right back in the same situation, a game away from getting to the Super Bowl this year, and you did not help Aaron Rodgers. He he pretty much did it. Him and his and his guys, Devonta Adams, uh, Lazard came back. You know he was a little bit banged up during the season. You know, had a little couple of blips early in this game, but he, he came back and scored a big touchdown to really seal the deal uh, for the Green Bay Packers. But, you know, if I'm Aaron Rodgers, I'm just like, yeah, kiss my ass. I told you so. Yeah, it, it's amazing that, like you said, they're back in the same position they were in last year. This time they'll be hosting the, the NFC Championship game as opposed to having to go on the road. But they obviously have gotten no contribution from their first-round pick because it was a quarterback. Yeah. So just imagine how explosive this offense could have been had they drafted one of those receivers – you know, in, in the first round, like a Justin Jefferson, right? Yep. Or Michael Pittman Jr., you know, one of those type of guys. So they're they're clicking right now in all cylinders. They've been my pick to go to the Super Bowl for a few weeks now. I think they will get it done. And, and yesterday was a prime example, and you heard Devontae Adams say it after the game. You know, the Rams were the number one scoring defense in all of football. Yeah. The Rams were only giving up 19 points a game. Yep. The Packers had that in the first half. Yeah. So like, you, knew, you knew it was going to be a long right, night. Right, right. You knew it was going to be a long night. <laughs> They dropped 32. They could have dropped 40 because uh, Lazard actually dropped a touchdown pass yes. earlier in the game. Yep. That would have went for a big game. And then Rodgers came back to him later for the touchdown that sealed the game up. I, th I think they're just clicking right now. And Devontae Adams is a nightmare for anybody. You know, you saw Jalen Ramsey yelling at guys on the sideline yesterday because they had no way to stop him. Yeah. He, anytime he wanted to get open, he got open. And if he wasn't getting open, Aaron Jones was picking you apart. Yep. Or Rodgers was finding another receiver running wide open down the field. Again, that is a very good Rams defense who has pretty much locked down every team they've played this year. The games they lost yeah. wasn't because of their defense. It was because of their offense. But yesterday, their defense had no answers. Uh, we knew Jared Goff was going to struggle in this game, again, with the bad thumb. Mm -hmm. He did. I'm interested to see who the Packers get next week because, like, like I said, to me, they are clicking, and I think they have a legitimate shot to win this whole thing. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, he, he he's having one of those uh, the, the the LeBron season from last year where it was the get back season, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, it, they're looking really well. Um, to not have have made any real improvements on the offensive end, end of the football, those guys are clicking right now. Devonta Adams, you know, he's making his case for best wide receiver in football right now. And Aaron Rodgers, shoot, he's putting up a case right now that, listen, I'm still here. I'm an MVP, you know, my damn stuff. I'm, I'm all pro, you know, as well. And if I can get back to the Super Bowl and win this Super Bowl, y'all going to have to put a lot more respect on my name. And I think, you know, that's what he's looking towards doing. It, the games will go through uh, Lambeau Field, so they do have home uh, home field advantage going into the, uh, the NFC Championship game, whether it be – the, uh, the the Bucks or the Saints, they will have to go to, to Lambeau Field, um, which I think, I mean, for Tom Brady's school, he's used to playing, you know, in that in that type of, of, of weather. This is Deion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Come on, Bye, uh -huh. This is Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real 